Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to add or subtract fractions without finding common denominator. Fraction is part out of all. If you look at this circle, I divided it into four parts and I shaded this portion by using red ink. So we can say one fourth of this whole circle is shaded. Fraction can be proper, like two thirds is the example, because the top number is smaller than the bottom number, then we call it proper fraction. Improper fraction, when the top number is bigger than bottom number. And mixed fraction, where we have a whole number and a portion is fraction, like this. The first problem I am going to do is one fourth plus three fourths. As you can see here, we have the denominator already common. We don't have to worry about it. We can go ahead and add the top numbers. So 3 plus 1 is 4 and divided by 4. So out of two bottom numbers, we keep 1. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. But if we have different denominator, how do we do that? So we have 3 over 4 plus 5 over 8. We can multiply across 3 and 8. 3 and 8. And right here is 24. And we multiply this 2. So now we are going to write 24, 24 plus 20. We add them. So we write the addition of these two because the sign is plus here. That's why. So that will be 44 on the top. Multiply these two numbers, 4 times 8 is 32. Now, as we can see, we can divide both 44 and 32 by 4. So let's do that. And we will get on the top 11 and in the bottom 8. As you can see, this is a bigger number and 8 is a smaller number. We are not supposed to leave the answer like that. So this is improper. So we have to make it proper by dividing. 11 by 8. 8 can go to 11 one time. 8 times 1 is 8. Then we are going to subtract here. Then the answer is 3. So our final answer will be 1, 3 over 8. So our next question is we are adding 1 and 3 fourth and 2 and 1 fifth. Here also, if you notice that we have a mixed fraction, the mixed fraction we can do addition operation like that. So we have to, from mixed, we have to convert it to improper. So four times one is four plus three is seven on the top and bottom we keep four. So exactly the same way we do here, five times two is 10 plus one, 11 on the top over five. Now we do the apply the same procedure as number two. So five times seven, is 35, we write 35 right here. And four times 11 is 44, we write 44 right here. So 35 plus 44 is 79, and four times five is 20. So if you notice, we have again improper fraction, we have to divide 79 by 20. And here we can't reduce because the numbers are not divisible by a single number. So let's do division, 20 outside inside 79. So 20 can, can go to 79 three times. 3 times 2 is 6, so it's 60. And we subtract it, and the answer will be 19 here. So the answer 3, 19 over 20. Let's do some subtraction problem following exactly the same method. So the first one we are going to do is 2 over 5 minus 1 over 5. Here, as we can see, we have the common denominator, so we don't have to worry about making it common. So we write 5 here, because we have two 5s, we keep only one 5. And then on the top, we are going to subtract 2 minus 1 is 1, one fifth. So we have 2 third minus 1 fourth, we are subtracting. Same thing, we are going to multiply across, 4 times 2 is 8. And we are going to multiply 3 and 1, 3 times 1 is 3. Then as our, our operation here is subtraction, we have to subtract 8 and 3. 
So 8 minus 3 is 5 on the top. And in the bottom, we have to multiply these two. So 4 times 3 is 12. So 5 over 12 is the answer for this one. As I have mentioned before, that if we have mixed fraction, we have to convert it to improper fraction. So we have to multiply 8 times 3 and add to that 1. So 8 times 3 and plus 1. That goes on the top. So 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 is 25 on the top over 8 minus 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12 on the top over 5. Now you can use a calculator to do the multiplication across. So 5 times 25 is 125. 8 times 12 is 96. Now we have to subtract 125 minus 96. And below, we have to multiply 8 times 5. So 125 minus 96 is 29 over 8 times 5 is 40. Now we have to look if we can reduce it. No, because there is no number by which we can divide 29 and 40 both. So this is already a proper fraction. We don't have to worry about anything. So we can leave the answer like this. Thank you for watching.